Hello, Contemporary World Problems students. Uh, we are in week three and we are practicing an informative essay. Um, this is a, a SBA performance task simulation. So since the majority of you are ninth graders and not taking the SBA this year, I thought it would be good to kind of simulate and get the practice. And what I really liked about it was the idea that there was this timed uh, component so that you're going to be writing a timed multi-paragraph informative essay. Um, so here's the learning target. I can organize my thoughts and learnings about agrivoltaics. Excuse me. Uh, agrivoltaics is the fancy word for placing solar panels over farms that are growing food. Uh, and I can organize those thoughts and learnings into a timed multi-paragraph informative essay. I'm going to do that by annotating the documents in the SBA performance task part one. That's here. That's over here. Uh, and I'm going to outline my ideas below, and then I'm going to write and revise an informative essay in response to the writing prompt below. So the way the SBA works in part one, you're given the documents and you're told to annotate. So that happened yesterday. Uh, we went through that first video, the long document together, um, and kind of did a little bit of, you know, spot annotation. Uh, on day two uh, is when we're going to do part two of the, of the SBA simulation. That's when you're given this scenario and this writing prompt. Um, and then you put your right, your answer right here. Like I said up above though, I would really encourage you to outline your ideas just a little bit. So some bullet points first, first I want to talk about this, then I want to talk about that. Think about the types of um, ways you want to organize your writing. If you want a refresher from the, the video on Monday about five ways to organize your writing or this five paragraph essay, you know, some of that might help you, or you can just kind of go off on your own and organize your writing in a way that feels good. Um, last thing that's up here in terms of supports, um, I did post the SBA organization and purpose rubric, as well as the student exemplars. So you can kind of see, you know, what does a, a multi-paragraphed uh, informative essay look like um, and, and get an idea of what's expected. Okay, this is your scenario. Imagine you are an aide to a new state representative who has just been elected to serve in the Washington State House of Representatives, representing a district near Seattle that includes both city neighborhoods and farmland. Your boss, the new state representative, uh, ran for election saying that she would do something important to help fight climate change here in the district. She recently heard from a farmer who was adding solar panels above the crops on his farm and now she is interested in the idea of agrivoltaics. So that's the background, that's the scenario. Your writing task, use the documents from part one, again, that's this right here, uh, to research new farming and energy production, uh, oh, this new farming and energy production practice, and write a multi-paragraph informative essay for your boss that she might share with other members of the House of Representatives. Include information about the benefits and challenges of adding solar panels above crops on a farm, as well as an overview of the types of changes to regulations and laws that might help increase the number of farmers insta installing agrivoltaics on their farms. Okay. With that being said, you're going to start typing uh, out your response right here um, and let me know how I can help. I really look forward to reading what you have and then being able to share with each other um, some of your writing so that we can take a look at student responses. Um, and uh, yeah, good luck and let me know how, how I can help.